You're watching Skittle.com. <laughs> no, it's it's so fun. Like I mean, I'm gonna have an amazing, an amazing time. Um, watching the show grow, watching it morph into something special. You know, it's it's constantly changing. It's constantly building and you know escalating to the next level. You know, so if you see me this time around. Um, next time around it'll be something totally different something totally um, to the next level that's what that's my aim always to like beat out what I did last time yep you know so if you saw me last time it'll be a totally different show this time oh absolutely yeah. you know I mean you want to uh, put on a show you know I, a lot of times today I think people aren't putting on the shows that they should be you know I mean it's you know kind of like thrown together a little bit um, but me personally yeah, I feel like that's how the music even comes alive more you know when you go to see a live show it's like you know takes the songs that you love even to the next level and it's like you know oh my goodness you know this is this is what I felt when I was listening to the song you know even on a bigger scale it's it's come to life you know on stage through absolutely um every every one of my dancers every one of my band members are hand-picked um i actually have a lot of new folks on the road with me now um that i just hand-picked and yeah, i'm really excited because uh they're some of the best in the world <laughs> all right so this is called the jason duro shuffle and it's it's footwork so you may want to i'm get... going down i'm going down that's what it is. It's the Jason Drew. The um, Queen is actually my mother, so it makes me Prince. Prince Jason Drew. Yeah, it's wonderful, you know what I mean? It's, it's home, you know? It's home from home. Yeah. Yeah, I remember as a kid, I used to dream of colored monsters like. Uh, the monsters that I dreamed about were very weird because they weren't exactly really scary. They were just very colorful. It was weird. <laughs> colorful monsters? Yeah. And like, I, I remember being in a dream and like, this is not scary. <laughs> but it's weird though. Um, so if you. <laughs> Jason. Actually, yeah. I was like, oh my god, they're Wait. trying to talk to us. What? I'm, I'm, I didn't do that. Jason, stop. <laughs> um, I, I don't think you, I don't, I don't think they like to be called supernatural. So okay. just don't say that word, okay? What what, you know, they, <laughs> what should we call them? Just don't say the word supernatural. <laughs> you gotta be careful in here. It's it's, it's kind of intense. All right. Relax, relax. You ate chocolate I'm for sure. breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Such fun coffee. <laughs> when they first told me, I was kind of a little freaked out because they first they had me like in this little closet box of a room, and I'm like, okay, this is a really nice venue. Like, why is the room so uh, weird? So um, I came up here because we we're gonna do the interviews, and I'm like, this room is awesome. Why am I not in this room? And they're like, well, uh, we don't want to tell you, but it's haunted. In here and they get lots of complaints about it you know hearing voices saying get out and stuff like that so um i was a little freaked out at first but i was like nah i'm cool as long as there's somebody in here with me i never actually thought about that do you want to think about it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's an interesting idea. I thought about like writing uh, musicals and stuff like that, but never, never a movie. I don't know. If, I don't know that I could do that. Y you probably could. Maybe. 
Did you try a horror movie? Yeah. Called Supernatural. <laughs> You've just seen the plot right there. It's already happened, the ending. I can't see the it's gone away. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Do it, I would like to see but it. But like, when I'm like really bored and I'm not doing anything with, like, with my life, because like, what if I fail, it'll just be like a waste of time. Because that's like a lot of time. Just and, drink like five more coffees and you could like have it done before the show. <laughs> I think the average dude thinks about girls enough to write a million albums. Because I think, scientifically, um, in a day, 75% of thoughts is around a um, female, from a, from a dude. Is that actually a scientific fact? <laughs> that, that's just, that's just <laughs> you. I think I just made that up. <laughs> <You do. laughs> No, but it sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so, uh, research says, Jason Derulo's research. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've worked with uh, J.R. Odom again on this one. I've worked with um, a new production team called The Flip Tones, which I just signed. Um, This album is completely different from the last album because um, I've, I've grown so much, you know. I, I was 19 when I wrote my first album. Now I'm 21 and I've grown a lot in two years. I think in this past two years, I've grown more than I've grown ever in my life. You know, and this album is my greatest accomplishment of my life thus far. Mm -hmm. uh, and I couldn't be more excited. You know, people talk about, you know, the pressure of the sophomore album and um, even if, like when you've had success on the first one, when you've had massive success, what the pressure is like, you know, on the second time around. I don't feel that at all. I'm actually more excited excited than anything. You know, this stuff has just been writing itself almost, you know, so it's more exciting than anything. I'm 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 thrilled, I'm through the roof to share this um work with the world. Inspired me? Yeah. I think my biggest inspiration is my fans. Um, at this point, you no. Know, someone asked me the other day, was it tough to write this album? You know, because I've you know come off, um, uh, just you know my first album. It wasn't hard to write this one, and my answer was like this album was really easy for me because like it was really just just writing itself. Like I said, it 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 was just coming off the paper because I am so inspired by my fans. My my fans inspire me like just going to places even like like Japan you know where they don't speak any English and performing and they'll sing every lyric back to me but won't understand English at all you know what I mean that's that's so inspiring to me that's like basically telling me that music is a language in itself you know and uh, you can feel what somebody's talking about through the melody and and their emotion on the song rather than just the lyrics you know so um, I paid close attention to my melodies and close attention to um, the passion that I had in each song you know that the passion matched with the melody and that the melody matched with the track and that everything was just just meshed together you know to make this this song just an emotional uh, ride if you will Not particularly, not just playing. Um, <laughs> uh, what do you want me to sing? You, you can sing whatever you like. You don't have to sing one of your songs. You can do. You can bust out a cover if you would like. Okay. How about this one? Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is. I, I, oh, your, your daddy's rich, and your mama's good looking, so hush, little baby, don't.
on, you cry.